And now for something a little different. My wife and I uh, are making a bench. Uh, we were walking around the neighborhood uh, trying to get some ideas for landscaping. Um, we've been trying to make the, <clears throat> the yard look nicer in front and back, doing a lot of native plants to help out uh, local ecology with the butterflies and the bees and all that good stuff. And um, we saw somebody had a very eclectic garden, and one of the things they had in there was a bench that they had made out of old cinder blocks and some wood. Well, we happened to have some random leftover cinder blocks that I was going to throw away. So we figured, what the heck, we'd give it a shot. So we kind of put our heads together, went down to Michael's, and picked up some supplies and used some stuff we had on hand. And here's what we're using. Uh, Zinzer 123 basic all-around primer, get it anywhere. Uh, to clean them off before the primer, uh, scrub brush <laughs> and uh, my wife found out the gloves are a very, very good idea because you can easily scuff up your knuckles and all that. It's a very rough surface. So gloves and a, a, a dollar store brush did a great job cleaning off the cinder blocks. And now she's putting on the primer, which I hear is tedious and a little annoying. It's messy. Uh, I think you said you had never painted masonry like this before. Looks like it's tough to get into all the nooks yeah. and crannies. It does dry quick though. Mm -hmm. I noticed in the first one after about an hour it was it seemed to be dry. And for a change, we got some decent weather. We had a ton of uh, oh, nice. rain and heat wave and stuff. We and didn't have a heat wave. We had one day of heat. Wow. Two days, maybe. <laughs> for those of us Two who don't, days. who uh, are used to being in an air-conditioned office all day. Oh. <laughs> but yes, you're right. Compared to most of the country, it was nothing. And you see you've got your iced coffee to keep yeah. you going. So the plan is, well, we've got uh, four more of these to do. You've got four more of these yep. to do. And then, uh, oh, at, at the Michael's Arts and Crafts, we picked up some colorful outdoor patio yeah, paint. later, after, we, after all these get primed, and then they're going to get painted pretty colors. And then maybe I'll do some decorative stuff. I don't know, for some, paint some flowers or something on there. Paint something nice on there. And, um, but that's later. We gotta prime all these things first. Sure. It'll take a little while. Okay. Yeah. And the doggies are being helpful as always. Making sure everything's well supervised. My wife, with the careful supervision of Jupiter just finished painting all six blocks uh, but unfortunately it's looking like it's gonna rain so we better move these into safety uh, I'm hoping it's just gonna be a quick shower or quick pass quickly we can get these back out let them finish drying and move on with the project feel it. yeah we just felt the drop come down all right so we gotta get moving Passes the inspection. Passes the inspection. Pass. Pass. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> he said. Made some pretty good progress on the cinder blocks. We've got what, cyan, pale green, a couple purple. Yeah. Or is there a fancier name for that? It'd be Violet. If you want there to be, <laughs> if you want there to be. Well, you know, if you look on the caps, they all got. It's not just green. It's like. Let's see. This one is candy. called Petunia Purple. Let's see. <laughs> Only flowery <laughs> names will do. Of course. All and right. Let's see. What else did we use? Blue Bahama. <laughs> Exotic. Yes. <laughs> and <laughs> sweet pea. And I think we were going to go with, what else we got? 
Maybe marigold. Yep. What's that brown called? Uh, but they don't have a good name. Woodland brown. Oh, that's nice. I guess it's hard to make brown sound pretty. I like woodland. I think it's the most beautiful one. Alright. Night has fallen, but we decided to keep pushing forward. Uh, so we got the center blocks all painted. Uh, we cut some boards to length, long enough it seems like two people could sit on it. Picked up a bag of pea gravel, basically, and uh, dig down a little bit, put down some pea gravel, level out the cinder blocks, and then about to cut some notches in the boards so they fit into the cinder blocks, and well, that's the plan. And then maybe once we get that set up, we'll get a fire pit going here. We got some tiki torches going. Be a nice little setup. Here it is the next day. Put down the river gravel and some bricks, leveled out the cinder blocks fairly well, and cut two boards. Biggest challenge here was the boards are wider than the cinder blocks, so I cut out notches. And it's a bit rounded, so really, uh, I want these to sit down really firmly. I should take a, here, you can see it on the end, take a chisel and knock off these corners a little bit. Or a rasp or you know some kind of power tool just to round off these so they sit down flatter and now my wife is touching up colors a bit putting some blue on the front and uh, so on and when that's dry you're gonna I don't know it might be done I might not okay yeah we'll just feel out how it goes I might paint something cute up on here, but maybe I'll just leave it. I'll probably just leave it. Okay. Yeah. It's cool. And here's the final product. We, uh, some stones around the base, some decorative mushrooms. I think we got those, what, at Michael's? So I hope you find these tips useful and maybe you can knock something together yourselves if you got some leftover stuff. Thanks for watching.